What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am Mike, AKA Living With 3M Auto Vlogging. And today, we're gonna tackle an oil change on the Old Man's Ranger. That's right, 2001 Ranger with the V6 in it, changing the oil. Let's get to it. All right, real quick, let's go over what we're gonna need to change the oil in this truck. We got a few hand tools here, some wrenches, ratchets, just in case, I always keep them in this bag. Even though the toolbox is in the building, I don't wanna be running back and forth. So I put a few of those in there. You're gonna need a good drain pan. I'll put links to the description to everything I'm using. This drain pan is pretty cool because you can lift it up. It's got handles on both sides. It's got a drain spout right in here. I like that. That way you can drain the oil out, no mess. Simple, guys. All right, down here you'll see oil filter wrenches. Got those. I got two different sizes because I'm not sure which one it is will fit the oil filter. Also, we're gonna need an oil filter. You're gonna need to replace your old filter. Never change your oil without replacing the filter, guys. So you can use Motorcraft, Wix, Fram, any of the top brands is fine. I'm gonna be using Pennzoil 5W30. I went ahead, instead of getting the quartz, I uh, got this, uh, it's five quartz total. First things first, let's remove the oil cap to allow the system to vent, to make sure all the oil is drained out. All right, let's head under the passenger side of the truck, get down here. There's the oil pan. You can see the drain right there. Kind of got a leaky drip on it. Also, the oil filter is right above it. It's got a drip on it. So let's get this oil changed out, put a new filter on, and inspect that oil drain plug right there and make sure there's nothing wrong with it. Maybe it's just not got tightened on the last oil change. All right, so we've got our oil pan under us. It's gonna be a 13 millimeter. You want to loosen it like this. All right, you want to remove it quick down into the pan, just like that. You don't want to get any spills anywhere. The bolt was leaking around. It had a little drip. Look at that rubber gasket. Look at this damage to that. That's crazy. So we're going to the parts store, pick up a new bolt with a new gasket. That's the main reason for that leak. Now as for the oil filter, I'm not really sure what's causing that leak. They probably just didn't get it tight. So we shall see. Just picked it up right here. Got a lifetime warranty on it for seven bucks. Can't beat that. He said if it strips out, gasket fails, anything. Here at the good old Advance Auto, or you can order it on Amazon. A normal oil filter wrench will not fit up under here. So I was just like, I'll try it with my hands. And believe it or not, it's actually, I got it loose. All right, remove the oil filter. It's probably gonna cause a little bit of a mess. Yep, there it comes, but I've got my pan right under it. All right, so you got the oil filter off of there. We'll open up our new filter. See the gasket, just like your grandpa and your father taught you. Take a little bit of oil, not much. We use some of the used oil, doesn't matter. Now we're going to replace this filter. My father came to the auto parts store to originally get the oil and the filter. And uh, I've already been up here, as y'all saw, just to get a new drain plug because the gasket's shot. All right, so I go to put the oil filter back on the new one, the new frame. won't thread up at all. I mean, it's just wallowing around at all. So I asked my dad, I'm like, when you got the oil and filter the other day, did you tell him it was for a four liter V6? 
He said, I thought I had the three liter V6. Whoop. You got the four liter. It says it on the engine right there on the top. So I'm headed back to the parts store to get a four liter V6 oil filter. I'm as mad as hell. So just got back from the parts store. FF2 is the oil filter for the four liter in a 2001 Ranger. And I figured I'd go ahead and grab this thing while I was at it. Yep, oil filter wrench from the bottom. That way, if you're trying to do the side and the frame's in the way or the engine's in the way or the exhaust is in the way, you have got this. Mounts from the bottom, uses a 3 8 inch ratchet and uh, extension and just loosen it that way. I went ahead and put our uh, bead around there and now we're going to put this on. Goes right up on there, unlike the other one that was too narrow. All right, so use a 3 8 ratchet and long extension. I have two smaller extensions, but that's how we'll tighten it. You don't want to over tighten. I want to emphasize when tightening this down, it should be only hand tight. I put this on here and do it with a ratchet, maybe just a quarter turn past my hand tight. Never torque down your oil filter, never. All right, so the new drain bolt is a 16 millimeter instead of a 14. And you don't want to kill this either. You just want to get it snug. And now that we've got everything buttoned up underneath with the oil filter and the new drain plug put in, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and put five quarts in this because that's what it calls for on this engine. All right. So now that we've got our five quarts in, go ahead and put the cap on. All right, go ahead and cut that off now. Now comes proper measurement time. So you pull the dipstick out, you wipe it. Don't wait a minute or two for all that oil to get back down in the pan to get an accurate measurement. Make sure the dipstick's all the way secure into the tube. Pull it back out and we are Right at full, five quarts, guys. Carefully, carefully, let's go discard this oil in the neighbor's backyard. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, guys, just kidding, just kidding. Going to the recycle center for proper disposal. God, God, take things too serious. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Had somebody asked me, uh, sent me a message and said, do you, you got a nickname for Zeus right here. Uh, Zeus is my 2018 Indoraptor. Yeah, in case y'all didn't see it right there, check out the channel page. You will see a lot more of Zeus. And they said, your old man, he's 84. My dad's 84, loves his ranger to death. And they said, do you have a nickname for it? And if I had to name it, I'd probably name it Rambo because it's been through a ton of stuff. I'm just here to tell you, Rambo. Yeah, been through it. He would drive that thing from one end of the earth to the other. He told me one time, he said, that thing's been through Kuwait and back over in Saudi Arabia. I'm like, how'd it get across the ocean? Anyhow, old men and their stories. Y'all check out the channel page. I appreciate every one of y'all. Catch you in the next video. Later now.